everyone so in this video we will take an example uh, of an orthogonal uh, linear uh, transformation so basically in the lecture sir has given one example as rotation so where t is a map from we are considering t as a map from r2 to r2 rather we can say that t is a linear transformation from r2 to r2 the vector space of two dimension so if we have a vector u comma v so if we have this vector u v and if we rotate this vector by angle theta then the matrix corresponding to this rotational rotation transformation if we denote it by r theta it is given by cos theta minus sin theta and sin theta cos theta so this is the corresponding matrix so if we have any vector u comma v or rather we have written it as a column vector then after rotation by angle theta the new vector will be r theta into this column vector basically we apply this transformation on this vector so we get uh, cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into the column vector u v so what we get here we get u cos theta minus v sin theta and u sin theta plus v cos theta so this will be the image of the vector in two dimensional plane so suppose we have theta is 45 degree then we know the value of cos 45 and sin 45 so let me write it down as an example if theta is 45 degree and our vector our given vector is 3 comma 4 then after uh, if we rotate this vector by 45 degree what we will get we will get 3 cos 45 which is 1 by root 2 uh, minus v is here 4 here and sin is also uh, 1 by root 2 sin 45 so 4 into 1 by root 2 and here we have uh, 3 into 1 by root 2 plus 4 into 1 by root 2 so what we get we get minus 1 by root 2 by in and the second quadrant would be 7 by root 2 so this will be the uh, vector after rotating this 3 comma 4 by 45 degree now let us try to visualize this example in GeoGebra. So this is our vector 3 comma 4 and after rotating this we will get some new vectors. So now if I rotate it, yeah these are the new vectors. So depending on the degree of rotation we will get different vectors as you can see in this diagram. Now suppose we take another vector V which I have taken here as 4 3. So so there is some angle between u and v and now if we see the rotation uh, one rotation of this thing this new vector v we will get some new vector v prime now if we see the rotation for different angles you see that the angle between u prime and v prime will always be the same and that is exactly the angle between u and v so the angle between u and v does not change due to this rotation transformation so and that is basically the main characteristic of orthogonal transformation because in orthogonal transformation we know that inner product of u and v will be same as the inner product of tu and tv so here we can observe this case in this animation thank you